Assemblymember Qureshi. Um, thanks. Um, Murad, listen, on, on, on money laundering in, in Lon the London property market, this is, this is very serious. And as I've said, I think I, I am concerned, frankly, that, that large sums, are, as I've said before, are coming into um, the city. Uh, what the government has done is to put the annual tax on developed dwellings on people who buy homes through a company. And what I've said before is, well, you know, that seems to be working in the sense that it's producing a, a great deal of income for the Treasury, and, you know, that's fine by me. However, if it is the case, as the National Crime Agency is now saying, that they have evidence of, um, you know, real money laundering, racketeering or whatever, then they need to be pursuing that. Yeah. And there needs to be proper transparency okay. in, the, in the land registry well, and elsewhere. Mr. Mayor, I'm glad you've changed your position, because when I put those questions in at the beginning of the year, you and your officers were in complete denial about the issue. Well, I used my, uh, my questions were posed on the back of a Transparency International report that suggested something like 40,000 properties are registered under foreign uh, companies registered in an offshore secret judiciary. Um, and, and, you know, in boroughs like the City of Westminster, one in ten, City of Westminster, my home borough, yeah. one in ten properties is affected by, by this. On the street, people talk more about this in Paddington and Maida Vale and um, uh, Marleyburn than, than, than right to buy, quite honestly. It does have a huge impact. Um, I, I, am, I, am I right in thinking, though, I, I, that you, you will not be encouraging London to, to, to be a place of stash dodgy cash, no. as the PM has said? No. And you yes, suggested you're right, with yeah. your sentiments on um, the I saw what the Prime Minister thing. had to say in Singapore, and I think he's completely yeah. right. Um, you know, my point is. You, 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 London does receive a great deal of international investment in properties, much of which drives the creation of, of homes that would otherwise not be deliverable, and that's a point I've made many times. What you cannot have is a city that is, is being used as a sort of bank account by crooks around the world, and so you need to uh, be looking at um, uh, the land registry and, actually, and who ultimately owns this property. And so far we've relied on this annual tax on investment. I think this, the, the, as I said to you before, the Treasury's assumption was that the tax would be so onerous that people would start disclosing who they were rather than pay it. Actually, they, they paid through the nose and they continue to pay. Okay. And um, I think, you know, as a, as a disclosure mechanism, it's obviously not worth Mr. it. Mr. Mayor, can I bring it to a London level rather than a national level? Um, I'm glad you, you mentioned um, the um, National Crime Agency, and I'll just confirm uh, to, to my other Assembly members what Donald Toon actually said. Uh, he believes the London property market has been skewed by laundered money. Prices have been artificially driven up by overseas criminals who want to sequest their assets here in the UK. An example, uh, on Baker Street, you've got an allegation that there's a brutal Kazakh official who's brought £147 million pounds worth of uh, London property uh, in, in residential properties on and off that location. I want to know what you're asking the Met to do to prevent money laundering in London's property market. Well, I mean, the National Crime Agency has made these allegations. National, if the National Cr Crime Agency has any such evidence, they should uh, immediately produce it and give it to uh, the Met and, and, of course, they will get, get on with it. I, I, I'm aware of what Donald Toon has, has said, but I haven't yet, uh, apart from that uh, that quotation, uh, I haven't y yet seen the, the detail of what, he, uh, of, of, of what he's uh, commenting on. I think he needs to produce that uh, uh, and, and, and give it to, to the Mayor. I understand that there is a lot of work being done on this front. I think it also needs a message from the Mayor of London saying that uh, he's not keen on London being the centre of a lot of money laundering around the world well, and, and get the Met resources in. I understand, actually, the Mets have combined their team on this front into the National Crime Agency, and I welcome that. I just want you to be aware of it and make sure I, you're I making the case I, I, I in the Met yeah. that they don't lose track of it, like uh, your concern about l uh, loot of ancient... Exactly, and, I, and, it, and it goes back to what we were saying earlier, which is it's one of those things that... one of those international dimensions to London that places this incredible burden on the Met. I mean, you know, in order to track down the origin of funds from overseas, it requires a, a great deal of uh, 
detective work, it requires very specialised officers, it requires investment, and uh, it's, it's one of the reasons why the conversations we've been having with, uh, with Joanne uh, and others today are so important. We've got to keep proper funding for the mayor. And can, okay. can I make my final point? Will you, uh, as mayor, support Transparency International's recommendation that state agents should also uh, exert due diligence checks on the purchase, purchases of properties and not just sellers. That's one thing Trans they think is useful. At the moment, the state agents only do a due diligence check on sellers. They want to see this being done on purchases of the top end of the market, at least. A due diligence done by estate agents? Yes, yeah. and it's actually supported by the National Estate Agency. Yeah, well, I, 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 again, I mean, I think that... Uh, what you really need to have is transparency about who's buying these, these properties, and you need to know who they are. Um, if, if it can be done, yeah, I mean, if, if it can be done without completely burdening estate agents with the kind of detective work for which they're simply not equipped, then, then yes, I, I certainly support it, but I think I need, I think I need to... Well, that's what I think transparency uh, need from you. Okay, thank you.